Hello guys, many people think that lithium batteries are mysterious and powerful. And today, I will tell you what materials are these lithium battery composed of. Well, we always divide the cells according to the shape. They are cylindrical, prismatic and punch. Let's take this as an example. This is a cylindrical cell, 3.7 volts and 2500 mA power. And this is 3C and the discharge capacity of the single cell can reach 7 amps. We have an easy way to distinguish its positive and negative. This side is the positive, and the flat surface side is the negative. This is the prismatic cell, and here is its positive pole and the negative pole. It is a Li-ion battery with 3.7 volts and 50 amps pair. It has a relatively large capacity, and that is, it can replace 20 cylindrical cells. The bracket is usually used in the section of the cylindrical cells. It can also be used for bead dispersion and insulation. Next one, the BMS, which is an indispensable control component of our battery pack. It can ensure that the battery operates in a safe voltage. In order to connect the battery in the BMS, we have to use the sampling cables. I have two kinds of Highland Bailey paper here, and this one is a double-sided sticky Highland Bailey paper. It can be used to isolate ethan batteries. And look at this shape. It's mainly used in the positive side of the cell. This is the nickel strip. There are two kinds here, pure nickel and a nickel plated, used for serious and a parallel connection of the cells. The 704 silicon can play the fixed role in a waterproof function. These three rows of a type have different uses. Brown high temperature type is a flat retardant. Fiber type, because of its toughness, is mainly used to hold it in place. And the last one is double sided type. You can see it everywhere. Well, these are the EVA cotton we've cut. It mainly plays rev buffering and the fueling. These are the connecting part of the battery, like the heat shrink tube, connecting wires, and some three pin plugs. They are also essential for us to make a battery pack. This is epoxy board, which we use as a flint retardant, as an insulation and as a fixative. This is a heat shrink film to help in securing and waterproof. Then a special charger for lithium batteries must be equipped according to serious batteries. And please remember, do not use lead-acid battery chargers to charge lithium batteries. The last one is the battery box. And depending on the material, it could be made of cold rolled steel, plastic or stainless steel. The two most important functions of it are for convenience and better waterproofing. Okay, this is the end of today's video about lithium battery materials and I will share more knowledge with you in the future. Leave your comments below and I'll see you next time.